I guess, so I found this make on the workshop, right? The description is surprisingly honest. It is a post model with almost no practicality. All right, let's spawn this now. I'm interested in the shield. I want to see the shield. Oh, this is actually bigger than I thought uh, because the thumbnail kind of makes it look small. This is a Gundam, by the way. And oh, yeah, they actually move. That's surprisingly stable. All right, let's do a quick fly around here. So this is the shield. I remember playing these Gundam games back in the days. And I remember this as one of the types up here. Hmm, what is that? Oh, there's an air fan. A decorative air fan. I think most of the things here are decorative. They are using hinges for the joints. Is this even a real weapon? Well, at least this is an actual weapon though. Uh, this side is not functional though. Oh, never mind. It's a camera, so it's actually functional. Can you get inside the Gundam? I don't think there's any control seat in here. Oh, there's actually a control seat in there somewhere. Alright, here it goes. So, oh, I we actually have gyroscope, so I kind of have like a degree of con- oops. <laughs> Wait, not like this. Well, hold on. We do have weapon controls though. Alright, well, let's see how that shield holds up against weapons. Here goes. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> it just disappeared. I mean, that's probably not fair though. My fighter has lots of weapons, so. I turn on the slow motion plugin so we can see what's happening better here. Here goes. Oh, alright. Where's my camera? Do you guys see the shells there? Alright. Oh, that's a lot of shells. And. Oh. Oh, this is pretty cool, actually. Oof. Oh, wow. Yeah, it just kind of split the whole Gundam in half. That's pretty cool to see. Look at the shield. Oh, wow. Alright, going back to real time here. So that's probably what happened before. That's pretty cool. I put a Gatling turret and a missile turret here. Let's see how this does against those turrets. Oh, hold on. I was getting kicked out of the seat. Oh, it's actually... I mean... Well... Yeah... It can fly in space just fine though. And I'm sure if some people put enough effort to scripting this mech here, you can actually make the joint move and stuff like an actual Gundam. So that's something to think about if you really like the design, which is actually a pretty cool design if you see here. Like, it's a pretty decently designed model. So, that's the Gundam by Ohagin. You guys can find the link in the description below.